It's still under fire. American Sniper topping the box office again this weekend. It's raked in about 200 million bucks so far. But if Democrat Howard Dean is right, it's really a bunch of angry people watching. There's a lot of anger in this country, and the people who go see this movie are people who are very angry. Now, Howard Dean is not the only one taking shots. Michael Moore continues to double, triple, quadruple down, whatever you want to say it, on last week's Sniper Tweets. Uh, tomorrow's Sunday school, what would Jesus do? Oh, I know what he'd do. Hide on top of a roof and shoot people in the back. Jason Redman is a former Navy SEAL, personal friend of Chris Kyle. Jason, when you hear comments like these, particularly when it's Howard Dean talking about the, the, the viewership, for American Sniper, when close to half are women, young women at that, they don't fit that, that angry mold. So, so what's he talking about? You know, Neil, the only angry people <laughs> out there across America right now are the people that are angry at pompous egomaniacs like Michael Moore, Seth Rogen, Howard Dean, and Bill Maher, who make asinine comments like that. Not a single one of those guys has ever placed himself in a situation where they were willing to lay down their lives for their beliefs. That's what every American veteran did. That's what they were willing to do for them. That gave them the right to make stupid comments like that. And uh, it's insulting. You know, one of the great things Clint Eastwood did, he recognized that this movie was much more than just a story about, about Chris Kyle. It was a story about every American veteran that ever went out there and fought for freedom. I, watching that movie, I relived a lot of those scenes because I fought in Iraq, too. You know, Jason, I was thinking about guys like you, heroes like you, and I was thinking, well, um, when Michael Moore says he did more to help guys like you and, and, and get you out of harm's way uh, by being an early opponent of the, of the Iraq War, uh, without this sort of, I'm paraphrasing here, this bully, bully, let's fight, 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 that he's doing some good, that, 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 that he's not glorifying violence, he's trying to save people with his anti-violent message. What do you say to that? You know, war is a horrible thing. I will never argue with that. War is probably one of the most horrible things that exists. It brings out both the worst and the best in people. And uh, on that side, I can definitely understand why some people out there want to state, hey, we shouldn't go to war, we shouldn't do these things. But make no mistake, there are evil people in this world. You know, some of these people like Bill Maher want to talk about Chris's use of the term savage. <clears throat> Chris wasn't specifically addressing the Iraqi people. He was addressing a specific demographic of Iraq. It is the same demographic right now that is over there fighting with ISIS, that is raping and beheading women and children. I mean, just last week, they dragged 13 teenage girls out in the street and beheaded them for watching a soccer game. If that's not the definition of savagery, I don't know what is. You know, they turn around, Jason, and say to that, well, we are, we are not really endearing ourselves to the Muslim world uh, with this movie, and it's sending a message. Americans are all snipers. They're out to kill us. What do you say to that? You know what, I'm, that's such a, that's really a wrong track to be trying to go down. I, I, I mean, that's the bottom line. You policed line. yourself pretty well there, but go ahead. Yeah, I was getting ready to let it fly. Um, <laughs> you know, the bottom line is this. I've met a lot of moderate Muslims who believed in what we were doing over there. I met a lot of Iraqis who thanked us for going over there and trying to provide them, you know, freedom. Uh, things have gone south since we left, and ISIS has taken a very strong hold against it. They are by far the definition of evil. You know, I'd love to see more moderate Muslims stand up and speak against this Muslim extremist threat that's going on that ISIS is trying to push across the globe. Jason, thank you very, very much. Close friend of Chris Kyle and the Navy SEALs, a unique breed. Uh, very, very unique breed. More to this.